Hello. <laughs> it's been a minute, guys. What's up? What's up? What's going on? Ooh, my background. She's not looking pretty, and I don't want people to know how I actually live my life. So let's at least try to get this down. The wax will just have to stay. It doesn't have my address on it. It's fine. It's okay. Hey, guys. What's up? What's going on? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, what's up? My name is Megan. And if you are not new and you are returning, thank you guys so much for coming back and joining the fan, but also clicking on another one of my videos today. Well, you could tell we're doing a much needed hair tutorial. She's looking a little grimy, a little bit gross. Like I said, I just got back from the gym and I am about to hop in the shower, but I wanted to do my introduction first so you guys can see what it looks like when I have two day old round brushed hair because this is the vibe that I'm trying to get with a good hair dryer because y'all saw the title of today's video. We are going to be testing out the new, let me get it for you. We are gonna be testing out the new Dry Bar The Single Shot Round Blow Dryer Brush. This guy, I think he just came out. Maybe he's been out. I'm not quite sure. I'm not a part of like the hair care community here. We're barely a part of like the makeup beauty community around here. But I noticed this because I, um, if you guys don't know, I did post a video quite a few months ago about the Revlon One Step Volumizer Hair Dryer. I'll link that up here for you guys. And I did really like that product for quite a while, especially for what it is. The problem that I noticed with it guys is two things. One, it made my hair really straight. Um, I didn't really get a lot of volume with it. And when you name something a volumizer, I'm expecting a lot of big blowout style volumizer like va va voom 90s vibe i wasn't able to get that with that hair dryer um, and two i loved it for the first like four to five months that i was using but honestly the past month to month and a half i was noticing that a lot of my hair was split at the ends which it was time for me to get a, a haircut but my hair has never been that dead looking at the ends ever in my life and i have to attribute it to that hair dryer because that's pretty much the only hair dryer that i've been using over the past six, seven months since I got the product. That being said, I know that this product doesn't look too much different than the Revlon one, but I'm hoping because it's a little bit more professional grade, it won't completely trash my hair. So yes, guys, we're gonna be trying this guy out. Now, before I do get into the video though, please do me a favor and just scroll past the screen, smash the thumbs up button. It really does help me as a small content creator to push my videos out there into the YouTube verse. If you guys have not already, please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell if you want to be notified when I do post my videos. We do try to post around here one or two times per week. I'm sorry, it's been a few weeks, but a very couple rough few weeks. I'll talk about it in a little bit in a vlog. You guys will see. That's it, guys. What I'm going to do is just really jump into the video. All right, y'all. I'm about to jump in the shower. I need to wash my hair, but a little bit about my hair. I did just do a big old chopper rooney on the hair. I know for you guys, it might not look like a lot, but I promise you it is a lot. I actually chopped about five to six inches off and it Anytime that my hair does not go past my little boob line right here, I consider it to be a big chop. And it was, it was a lot. I have a lot more layers, a lot more volume, the whole thing. But guys, I just got this done two days ago and my hairstyle still looks pretty damn good. But we all know that when we go to our hairstylist, we ever we just can't recreate it at home. No matter who you are, you could literally be a hairstylist and you just can't get the same thing that you get in the salon because they just have magic in their hair tools, I, I swear. So that being said, I'm doing my best and I'm trying to find the best products to be able to make my hair look like this when I do go home after the salon because I'm not gonna pay to get my hair blown out twice a week, three times a week. I just, I, I'm not gonna do that. So I'm trying to find products that really let me do that at home. If you guys have been here around here for a while, you will know that I have been obsessed with wanting to get the Dyson hair dryer for the longest time, but I haven't pulled the cord because it's so expensive. I actually just had a friend of mine who, um, and a coworker of mine who loaned me her hair dryer, the Dyson original hair dryer, not the air wrap of the hair dryer, um, over the weekend last weekend. And I didn't really want to film with it. I, I should have, but I didn't. And I tried it out guys and I didn't actually really like it. It was a good hair dryer but it wasn't amazing. And that being said, then I started thinking, maybe do I want to get the air wrap? But again, it's $600. That being said, I have been doing a bunch of research online and on YouTube about a good hair dryer that I can use. Again, I already talked about the Revlon one. We don't need to get into it. And this kind of started popping up on my YouTube recently. I don't know if this is anything new. I know that they have a double shot round brush hair dryer that looks very similar to the Revlon one. It's a little bit thicker and gives people more of a straight effect. But this one they came out with because they wanted people to be able to do a round brush 90s hairstyle vibe with it. Um, it is slightly pricey. I will tell you that this does retail for $150 US 
USD, United States dollar, in case you don't know. So it was a little bit pricey. I did use a gift card that I have um, that I had saved up for it and I bought it today. So what I'm going to do is actually jump off camera right now. I am going to use my normal hair care routine, although I do have a new hair mask that I'm trying that I wanted to throw in here. This video is in no way sponsored nor in partnership with this brand, but they did um, they did send this to me complimentary. Thank you to Coco and Eve for sending this over to me because I am very excited to try these products out. They reached out to me um, to ask if I, I can be put on their PR list and I was like, yes, yes I can. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. But they sent me over their Coco and Eve Like a Virgin Super Nourishing Coconut and Fig Hair Mask. So I wanna try this guy out and they also do have a hair elixir as well. And then I will come back and I'll show you guys what products I did use in the shower, what products I used to prep my hair and then we'll also try this bad boy out. So I will see you guys in a couple of seconds your time, about an hour my time. Hi guys, I'm back. I'm looking quite a bit different, <laughs> obviously. Got my full face of makeup on, and guys, I used a bunch of new products that I think I'm gonna film a uh, like semi-new makeup, makeup that was on sale that I purchased type thing, because I bought a lot of it, and I tried it all on my face, and I love how it turned out. Like this foundation, oh girl, this foundation's good. Um, but I wanted to jump back on here because I just, uh, it's been about, a little bit. It's probably been about an hour, honestly. And I knew it's gonna take a little bit of time, but I've had my hair up in this little towel guy that I got from Coco and Eve. Um, again, thank you to them for sending this over. This is what my hair is kind of just looking like right now. It's, I would say about, like my roots are probably, my roots are pretty, pretty damp. I would say my roots are about 60% dry. The ends of my hair are also probably, my ends are probably like at a good, 30% dry, like they're still mostly saturated and wet, which is good because I wanted to give this guy a little try here on wet hair, not dry hair. So I, um, what I used in my hair when I was washing it, obviously, I used my Olaplex shampoo like I always do. That is the only shampoo that I will ever really use. When I go to the hairstylist, she does use, I think Olaplex and then Oribe on me, um, but I at home use just Olaplex shampoo. Um, and I normally do use Olaplex conditioner as well, but today, because again, I told you guys this earlier, I did use the Coco and Eve Like a Virgin Super Nourishing Coconut and Fig Hair Mask. And ooh, she smells good. She feels really good too. But again, it's, it's hard to tell what I actually think about this product because it's the first time I'm using it and I did just get my hair cut so my hair does feel a lot healthier than it has been the past couple of months so long term I'll obviously let you guys know what I like about it and if I do like it and if I will continue to use it but as of right now I do really 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 like it when I went in I put a little bit of my Kerastase oil just around my hairline here and then through here because it is a scalp oil it's meant to help produce hair growth so I use that and I went in with a little bit of my um, Briogeo hair uh, leave-in conditioner um, just in the ends, again, to keep everything nice and hydrated and untangled. And then I did a little, like literally a one squirt, one pump of Moroccan oil. And then I put my hair in the wrap. And then obviously I've been having my hair in this microfiber towel wrap for the last hour or so. And now I do need to prep a little bit here. So I'm gonna go into my roots. This isn't something that I do too often, but we're gonna do it for the volumizing purposes. This is from Bumble and Bumble. This is their BB Thickening Spray Pre-Styler um, and it is for Lush Blow Dries. So I take a little bit of this and what I hate is like, it's hard to kind of grip though here, you know? And I just go right up to the root here and just around, cause this is what my hair stylist uses. Literally the only reason I bought this is cause she uses it. And that's kind of just it. I don't wanna use too much of it. I don't use it all over like my ends or anything, only at my roots. Mix it in, good to go. And then I go in with my Color Wow. Can't tell that. I go in with my Color Wow, the Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. I've been using this for the past couple of years and I love it. I use it about once every two to three washes, not every single wash. And I'll put this right on my ends and all around. You can use this pretty liberally, guys. Ooh, just sprayed that right in my face. Now I will take my brush. I just use a flat little brush like this and I will brush it through. I know I like my roots to be a little bit more dry than this, but it's fine. 
we're gonna work with it. It's gonna be all right. So to pull out the, well, first and foremost, let me section my hair off. I always pull my hair into three different sections. The first one goes right above my ears here. No specific way, I just kind of go around and then I'll, I do this all the time when I'm selling my hair, whether I'm blow drying it or whether I'm straightening it or curling it. These are just the sections that I use. This is the first one. The second time when I do the bottom one, I'll go in right around my temples, pull it up and then clip that up and then I'll go in the top section just because for me it's easier a lot. Some people like to go in with more sections. Um, I don't, I'm too lazy for that, so we don't. All right, now it's time for the blow dryer. Inside the box, I do have instructions. We're not going to use instructions because I have zero. Uh, oh, see, this is cool. I didn't even notice on here. This is created for the perfect blowout. So we'll see, because I literally want the perfect blowout and I don't want to be disappointed. Dry bar. This is slightly concerning because yes, it is round, but it's slightly thick. Like this is a lot thicker than a normal round brush that I would use if I just round brushed my hair. It's kind of just like the Revlon one where at the bottom you turn it, although you go one click for cool down here, then it has another click for medium heat, and then you go to the third one for high heat. I always do high heat. Okay, that's why we use heat protectant, because I don't know how to not use full heat. Ooh, he's pretty long. I am really impressed by this actually, because I specifically, an extension cord, because I didn't think it was gonna fit, but this, this wire is pretty damn long, which I really, really, really like, because um, my Conair one and my Revlon one do not. So if I go like this, boop, plug in, hopefully it works. What does it sound like? Okay, it sounds literally just like the Revlon one. It's not super noisy, it's not super soft. By the way, guys, the Dyson one, it was quiet, but it wasn't super quiet. Like you could definitely still hear it. I just think I'm gonna go for it, kind of like I did with my Revlon. Like I don't, I'm not a hairstylist, so let's just, let's just go for it. Let's see how it goes. Okay, I am obviously twisting it because I want it to stay in like the way that it's supposed to stay. I'm just gonna kind of keep going guys and do section by section and just let you know what I'm thinking. Um, I'm gonna finish all around here and then I will obviously, when I get to the top portion, I'll let you know. I'll, I'll yeah, let me just go for it. Um, how do I do this? Should I start up here? I feel like I should start, my, my hairstylist starts here. Like she works her way from the bottom up. and like, I don't know. Okay, um, like I'm getting some flippy action at the bottom here, but I'm not really getting like full on blowout vibes, you know? I mean, again, most of the volume's gonna be up here and the flippiness is gonna be up there, but I feel like I could have gotten this exact thing with my Revlon. Um, and keep in mind guys, the Revlon that I have is the thicker one. It's not like the updated one, which I think is slightly smaller. It's the original one. Like I like it. It feels super soft still. Actually it feels kind of just like how my Revlon one feels, which is soft mostly. Um, I felt it tugging to be honest a few times, but I feel like cause I was also like trying to figure it out. Um, I already have the motion down just from having the Revlon, but it's not really getting my roots. My roots all back here are still pretty damp. Up here, they're pretty dry, but they were already starting. It's not, I'm a little bit disappointed. Let me do my top bit. Okay, we're gonna do the top bit. Where are we gonna start? Well, let's start in the back, I guess. All right, guys, I, sorry, my, my head to reposition my camera a little bit. Um, all right, I just got done. The back of my hair is still slightly damp here because I just, I can't get to the root the way that I would like to. And I'm not really, 
I'm not really judging this whole thing on getting to the root, right? Like, cause it's not, it's not a whole hair dryer to where it's it's meant to actually touch your roots. First things first, it's doing the same thing that my Revlon one does because I, I have baby hairs. Um, they're sticking up all like this, but normally, even if I was using my, my Revlon hair dryer, which uh, this whole, Thing has turned into just a review about <laughs> dry bar versus Revlon, but that is my daily use hair dryer that I'm obviously using on a daily basis. And this happens and I always have to go with like a, a hair straightener to kind of push those down. Overall, did it give me a blowout? Yes, it, it, it blow dried my hair. Um, yes, it gave me some volume, but I do also think that my products that I used with my hair today kind of have already naturally done that. Do I like the way that it looks? Yeah, I like the way that my hair looks. Do I think that this is revolutionary and that this is doing something that the Revlon one can't do? No, not at all. My hair looks exactly the same that it would look if I had the Revlon hair dryer, to be honest, because it's more straight than anything. And I was looking for more of like a big voluminous, like curly, it's gonna last the next couple of days, that type of deal. And it looks good, don't get me wrong, I am getting a ton of volume up here. So I think it's really good for like the mohawk section, but in terms of giving me a lot of like curl, not like actual like curls that you get with a hair curler, but a lot of like the flippy action that you get with like the 90s vibe, hair, hair dry, blow dry style, I'm not really getting that. And I get that with a round brush and a regular hair dryer, like when I go to the hair salon. And yes, I understand that my technique is not anywhere near my hair stylist because she's trained to do what she does and I'm not, I, I don't know anything about hair, but I just feel like I'm not getting what I expected. I'm really disappointed. I'm actually really disappointed. Here's, let me get off my soapbox here. Let me just kind of wrap this thing up and tell you guys, is this a good product? Yeah, overall, it is a good product. It does exactly what it claims to do, which is to blow dry your hair and to round brush it and to make it smooth. Um, Cause my hair does feel very smooth. It feels healthy. I don't feel like it's damaged at the ends, but the first couple times as well that I used for my Revlon hair dryer did the exact same thing. I felt great. Um, I will say something that I, I do really enjoy about this hair dryer over the Revlon one is that there's a lot more space in between the hair bristles, meaning that it's not going to tug on my hair a lot. Obviously, there's still bits and pieces of hair in here. Um, that's going to happen with any brush that you use. It's not like it's ripping hair out of my head. It did get caught quite a few times, but I was kind of careless with it, to be really honest. Um, I just went willy nilly all over my head with it. I didn't really take into account anything I didn't really section it off that well but that's me guys like I don't have time and like many of you guys I don't have time to section my hair into 15 million things like I don't want to spend 45 minutes to an hour doing my hair I want to do my hair in 20 minutes and get the hell out the door that's just that's me I would much rather spend time doing my face than doing my hair but that's again just me that's my priority it's good this is a good product for exactly what it claims to be do I think that it's giving me 90s style blowout vibes no no I don't it's not going to give you some on quality blowout vibes, um, at least not compared to my hairstylist. <laughs> um, she does much better work than this. I think that it's good. I don't think that it's worth $150. I mean, I feel like the price point of the $150 is just because it's a dry bar product and it's higher end product. I think that you can pick up the Revlon hair dryer and get the exact same thing and just be really precise with how you twist it. Because I think that you can, if you really get the mohawk the way that it's meant to be done, I think that you can get a lot of volume with it or you can just put like a couple little rollers in your hair with the Revlon one and get the same kind of effect. This guy, um, in terms of like my layers up here is not really accentuating them the way that I wanted them to. So I can tell you right now that I will be returning this guy cause I already have the Revlon one and I, have been debating getting the Dyson Airwrap. Honestly, it's been sitting in my cart on Dyson for a while and I'm, I'm there is a Sephora sale coming up and I just, I, I don't wanna, I probably will actually wait for the Sephora sale cause I can get 20% off, which is hundred dollars off and just buy it when it comes around there. If it's in stock on Sephora, it is currently in stock on Dyson. They have a refurbished one for like 50 bucks less. So maybe I'll just pick it up. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to give that guy a try because the, the barrel of this, the reason why it's not giving me like full curls, I think, is because the barrel of this is just too thick. This is two to two and a half inches, and there's no way to really get a full blowout style where you get like the curl at the end, unless you go with a smaller barrel. I would need like an inch and a half to an inch and three quarters, I think, to be able to at least get my hair to really curl. I don't know, guys. Okay, I'm super disappointed. I'm sorry, and I'm just rambling on at this point. Dyson hair dryer, for what it claims to be, it is a good product, I do give it a thumbs up. If it's something that you guys can afford, and you're like, hey, I really don't wanna try the Revlon one out, I'm like a huge 
dry bar fan. I think it's worth the, worth the price point or if maybe you just don't have access to the Revlon hair dryer and this is like the only thing that you can pick up, this is definitely gonna be worth it because it does work. It works really well. It dried my hair out, um, not out, it dried my hair and it did give me some kind of volume at the top, but in terms of the blowout style, no. I think that you can get the exact same thing for Revlon for a third of the price point. It's like 40 to 50 bucks if you go on Amazon or on Target, um, to Target. I don't think that you need this product to get this done. Um, now comparing it to the Dyson Airwrap, I'm not quite sure. I don't have that product yet, but that will be the next product that I do pick up because this guy is going back to Sephora ASAP because I want my $150 back. <laughs> all right, guys, that is kind of it. I'm sorry if this was like all over the place. This is my first video back in a couple of weeks since I kind of took a little mini hiatus because of life, right? So thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy this, if you do enjoy these type of videos, please let me know if there are any other products or any other little gimmicky things you want me to try out, please leave them down in the comment box below. My my next video I will be filming is actually, it's not gonna be this makeup look, but it'll be about the makeup that I use today because I do really enjoy how this turned out. And it's a bunch of makeup that I just bought and that was fully on sale at Sephora and at Ulta. So I'll be making that a video. Plus I do have a part, semi part three Q and A um, about my boob job that will be going up probably next week that I'll film because I have a bunch of questions that you guys asked me in my last video that I will also be obviously addressing while I'm doing maybe like a get ready with me or sit down video. I'm not quite sure. I'm trying to figure that out. But thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye guys.